Okay, good morning. Here we are again. Maths, grade 5. We are on page 24, looking at fractions and decimals. Now this is a game, and obviously you can only play this if you have someone to play with. So, if you have someone to play with, then read the instructions and play the game. If not, don't worry about it, we'll move on to the next thing. Looking at fractions and decimals, tenths. Write these numbers on the number line. So, we got 0 and 1. So these are all numbers that go between 0 and 1. So half would go halfway between 0 and 1. And then you need to look at all these other things and you put them in the correct place on the, on the number line. Now write the equivalent decimal fraction under the number line. So you were supposed to be writing the fractions above the line. Now you write the decimals below the line. So half is 0 0.5, so you write that there, and then you do the same thing for all these other things. Now you use your number line to answer the questions. Right, so read the, answer, read the questions and write the answers. You do that for all of these, and that's the end of page 25. Now we're looking at hundreds. So, read all this and then do what it tells you to do here. We have these digits and we've got a number we've made with those digits, which is 36.17. Rounded to the whole number is 36. Rounded to the nearest tenth is 0.2. The second number is 71.36. So you made a different number using the same digits and then you write your answer here. Now, you do the same thing for all of these lines. Use the instructions to fill in all of these squares. Now, it says, make numbers with two decimal places. Choose for your numbers to be quantities of meters, kilograms or liters. So, here we have an example. Four, four and six, nine and two. So that's 49.62 kilograms. Rounded to the nearest tenth is 49.6 kilograms. Rounded to the nearest whole number is 50 kilos. So you do the same thing for all of these lines, doing that for either meters, kilograms or liters. Okay? Next page. Percentages. Imagine, read, the, read this and then write your percentages in the diagram. Here's an example. Answer all of the questions. Let me just remind you that 100% means all of something. So if we have a pie, there's a pie, and we divide it into lots and lots and lots and lots of pieces, then all of the pie is 100%. Half of the pie would be 50%. And you go so on until you get down to maybe this is just one hundredth of the pie. One hundredth of the pie is one percent. That's what we mean by percentages. It's another way of expressing a fraction of something. So, follow the instructions. Here's an example. Answer the questions. Then we move on. We're still talking about percentages. It tells you to make numbers. Make a three digit number with a multiple of 10. Calculate as many percentages of that number as you can in two, min 
minutes. Write your percentages here. Follow the instructions, answer the questions. And that's the end of our use of the textbook for today. Now we're in the workbook and we're on page 22. We're looking at fractions and decimals, tenths, hundredths and percentages. So here you're going to finish this table writing the equivalent decimals and percentages. So here you have a half, so that you write the decimal and you write the percentage. Here you have three tenths, which is 0 0.3, and it's 30%. And you do the same thing for all of these other, other examples. Here we have 15 hundredths, and that is 0 0.15, and that is 15%. Do the same for all of those, please. And then, last page for today, page 23. Change these fractions to tenths, and then write them in order from smallest to largest. So, here you have two fifths, three tenths, one tenth, seven tenths, and one fifth. So you want to change all of these so that they all have the same denominator. They all have 10 on the bottom. So to change this one, it goes five, five times two is 10. So you multiply the top by two. So that would be four over 10. So you write all of these numbers on the line in the correct order from smallest to largest. So you go from being zero to one. So you write these numbers along here in tenths. Now do the same thing for this question. Now, for these questions, write your answer in the empty number line. Give your answer as a fraction, a decimal, and a percentage. Write a fraction greater than three-fifths. So write a fraction that's bigger than three-fifths, and then put the same number as a decimal and a percentage. So make sure you put it in the correct place on the line, and write three answers. Then do the same thing for number four. And that's the end of classwork for today.